Hey, what's going on? This is Peter here with the McKernan Group. So I want to talk to you a little bit about um, is this a good time or a bad time to buy a home? And I know that I've done this one recently um, and I want to come back and cover the bases again on if it's a good time to buy a home. So three things you got to look for. Is it within budget? So is your mortgage going to be uh, you know, a good amount for you and a reasonable amount for you? Also, what, what type of loan product am I getting? Am I getting an ARM, so an adjustable uh, rate mortgage? Um, am I getting that? And then also, and you don't want to get those, you want to get a fixed rate. And then also, is um, the house in an area that you're going to you know, want to be in for a long time or people are going to want to be in for a long time? Um, so those are three things. So location, condition doesn't really matter. I mean, granted, if it's a weird, um, some type of uh, layout that's weird that you can never fix or something like that, that's a problem. But if you are in a location that people like, um, then you, you really can't change that. You can't pick up the house and go move it to a place, uh, you know, place that people don't like and, and vice versa. Pla you know, people that don't like a place, you can't all of a sudden move it. So you wanna make sure that it's within budget. Also, that you're getting into a fixed mortgage, not an adjustable rate mortgage. Um, or like a weird loan product that people, you know, just start talking about the last year or six months um, and the lender's trying to sell you on it. Those are things that you don't want to get into. Um, you really want to get into the fixed mortgage side of things. Uh, and then location is the other thing is, you know, you always hear in school and everything else, location, location, location. So if you're in an area that people really enjoy, really love, talk about all the time, or you know, it's in an area that you know, people may live outside that city, but they're like, you know, if I really moved, I would move there. I would move to that X city. So those are, those are three key pieces that you want fundamentally when you're going to buy a home. And the thing is, is if you go buy a home and you have one of those three off, then you're going to face challenges when the market's completely different than it is right now. Right now, it's somewhat changing, but if you have a lot of inventory on the market, it's going to be harder to sell a home where people are saying, I don't want to live there, or I would rather not live there. But if you want, you know, if you want to buy a home at the beach or, you know, in New York City in a, in a nice area or, you know, Texas in a, you know, upcoming city or something like that, those are things that people look for. It doesn't matter if it's you know, a recession, doesn't matter if um, the market's changing or something like that, they're still gonna look. Granted, the value might be a little bit lower, but they're still gonna look in those markets. The, the secondary markets or the markets that you know, people are like, yeah, I, I probably would never live there. Um, though that you can't really ever fix, um, ultimately, unless there's some change in you know, people's habits and they, or some business goes into that city and then you know, moves it. But that usually happens over the course of 10 to 20 years. It doesn't happen over the course of a year and a half, two years. That's what you really want to look for. Um, don't get you know, any type of adjustable rate mortgage. Um, and then also, it's got to be within budget. You got to make sure that you can afford groceries. You can afford your water and you know, electrical bill. You got to make sure you can afford all these other things that go and are included with that. So when you, you go to pay your mortgage, you can pay it easily without you know, having a disruption in, in anything else that you have going on with maybe you know, making the mortgage and then not being able to make the car payment or whatever that, whatever that may be. So budget, make sure that it's in a good area and make sure you're buying you know at a fixed rate so it's going to stay for a long time and later down the road once the interest rates come back down to like a three percent or a three and a half or a three point six five percent then you can refinance and then you can drop that payment but right now i would say look at those three things make sure that those are your fundamentals and then go out and buy a home thanks for watching if you guys have any comments or anything like that leave them below